What is good everybody, BBK Dragoon coming at you with a quick update from the MCC Insider Flight number two. This is the second round of testing for the MCC Insider Program. If you guys don't know what's going on, there'll be a link in the description below for how to sign up for the Insider Program. You have a better chance of getting in if you're playing MCC, if you got some playtime on your record in the last few weeks and months. But this is the flight I've been waiting for. We're testing dedicated servers on Halo 3. And I just have to open with saying it feels really good. Um, back when MCC first launched, the dedicated servers were active. And even though it took me two, three hours of searching to finally get into a match, I've told this story on the channel a handful of times. I remember those first few matches of Halo 3 on dedicated servers. And I said it back then, this feels incredible. It feels the way Halo 3 is meant to feel kind of a deal. But then very shortly into the MCC fiasco, they defaulted to peer-to-peer -peer matchmaking. That was the the stories. Well, if it can't connect to the deadies, it then defaults to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. But I think we're pretty much all aware it's been peer-to-peer. -peer. Like, it's been peer-to-peer -peer for, <laughs> for the majority of your games. You still get all that host weirdness. So this weekend, I've gotten to test out BTB, a little bit of 4v4 um, for Halo 3 on dedicated servers, and it feels good. That's what I'm just here to share today. My number one hope from all of this MCC update stuff was that we were going to see dedicated servers implemented very effectively. Now, I play 95% of my time now on a mouse and keyboard, so going back to a controller feels really odd. Even though it's kind of like a bike, you never forget. I'm just not very, <laughs> I'm not super adept on the control sticks anymore, but I still had a lot of fun. Now, today there's gonna be a little bit further testing in some different playlists. And uh, thanks out to 3432, uh, Sketch tweeted that influencers were allowed to actually create content about these instead of uh, what I thought happened in the previous one where we weren't allowed to show or talk about footage from it until it was actually like in the record books and they put the waypoint update out. So if you guys want to hop into the insider program, I recommend you check out the link in the description below. My feedback and just thoughts here to share with you guys if you're on the fence looking at MCC again and maybe wanting to participate in these things. While the dedicated servers feel really, really good, I'm seeing some issues that I ran into back when the game first was launched and that are lopsided matches starting. I would say out of my seven or eight games so far, I've not had a lot of them, uh, four have been lopsided so far, like matches starting 3v4. And I've been watching Uber Nick stream and I've been seeing a few matches where that's the case as well. And in BTB, that happened in a few of my matches also. One of the jokes with that when MCC first released was 3v4 Industries. You saw that little clan tag a lot because plenty of matches were starting 3v4. I think that uh, problem is rearing its ugly head again, and it's most likely a byproduct of somebody's NAT not being able to connect with the dedicated servers, but then it not actually slotting somebody in in time to get an even match going. Overall, uh, only one big bug which was a huge fps slowdown on sand trap and we had like all the elephants going and I, I get it it's sand trap and there's a boatload of vehicles and it actually did the slowdown ended up resolving itself like 20 30 seconds later i'll try and put some footage of it on the screen now but overall man dedicated servers for halo 3 i never got to land halo 3 um properly i mean i did locals with my friends but that's like just split screen stuff like proper land 4v4 kind of a deal and this is probably the closest I'm ever going to get to that. It does not feel as good as LAN, but it feels light years better than the peer-to-peer -peer stuff that's been going on. So if they are able to implement this tech across the whole game, I'm pretty happy. Um, this is my number one desired thing for MCC through all the updates. I mean, it'd be nice to see them curate the playlists. If you guys remember old school Halo 3 BTB, the matches can be pretty long and some of those game types are just stupid. So, I mean, that's my opinion, but... It'd be nice to see uh, a team go back in and, and maybe make some cooler game types. That, that would be my idea, or, or just sort of alter the game types that are in there currently. But E3 is literally this week. There's going to probably be some Halo news. I will be back to talk more about the Insider Flight when it's concluded and after I've had the chance to test a couple more playlists. But I just wanted to drop a report in. You guys love the last update. And if you're curious what happened in the last update, the last flight, uh, you can click the video on the screen at the end of this one. So if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up. And I'll check in with you again very soon. Have a good day.